sit back and relax traders because today's video is covering a bar replay, including how it works, why it matters, and a live example. You're going to get a comprehensive overview of all of these things, starting with how it works. So the first thing every trader should know is that the bar replay button is up here at the top of your chart where it says bar replay. You'll also notice there's literally a replay icon because that is exactly what you're doing. You are going back in time. You are gonna replay the chart. So we click, it's now highlighted in blue. We've selected it. You'll also notice now that we have this blue vertical line with these scissors. And that's because if we click now anywhere on the chart, let's go back to 2022, we'll now go to that point in time. So the chart readjusts. We're now gonna drag it forward by clicking and holding and dragging and zoom in by using our mouse wheel. And what you'll notice here is that the last print, the last price on the chart now is December 2022, but we are recording this video in 2024. How cool is that? We've gone back in time. Now, you'll notice that these buttons here at the bottom of the chart are really going to come into play, one of them being the replay speed at which you watch this. Right now, we have 10x selected, so 10x as fast, but let's do 1x. So we've got 1x, and you'll notice here, one update per one second, 10 updates per one second. Let's click 1x. Now we click play, and you'll see here it's replaying in real time. This is bar replay. You can go back in time on any chart of your choice and relive that moment. Study it, practice it, anything of your needs, you can do that with bar replay. In addition, you'll see there's buy and sell buttons, and there's a quantity here for 10, so let's just keep it 10 for now. We click buy, and now we, we've bought some shares. We click sell, and now we've sold some shares, and we can see the buy and sell prices right on the chart. Let's go ahead and click buy, so we've just bought 10 more, and let's click pause, because we want to make sure you know that you can do bracket trades in bar replay, that's right. You can really practice by adding a take profit target and a stop loss target. And what you'll see there is you can click and drag them as needed. So we click, hold down our mouse, and drag up or down. We click, hold down our mouse, and drag up and down. And if we want to see the trade unfold, well, you guessed it, we click play. We can pick up the speed if we really want to see what happens. It hit our take profit. It sa says right here, sold, sold 10 at 217. We can track our performance here. We can place another trade. Let's buy another 10. And then, of course, let's... Let's go here and uh, add another take profit, another stop loss. Let's turn this up to 10x and watch this through the end because we want to make sure you also are aware of a really great feature that once you're done with bar replay, especially if you're placing practice trades, remember it's paper trading, not real money, you can track your performance with this profit and loss down here. We're up $492.00. When we last traded, we just clicked buy and sell rather quickly. We lost $200 in a matter of seconds, but check it out. It's calculated our win rate. It's calculated our profit. It's calculated our best trade. Lucky for us, we were green when you add up all of our trades. We got this congrats trader message, and we got to actually now see our results using the bracket trading tools or the buy and sell buttons down here. So that is how bar replay trading works. We've just given you the core understanding of how to get started, how it works. You now know what to do. But for the second half of this video, let's talk about why it matters and showcase a live example. This is where you are really going to learn something new, especially if you are a new trader. This segment is going to be detailed, it'll be somewhat long, but it's going to give you the absolute best walkthrough. Everything you need, everything that you wanted to know about Bar Replay, especially how to use it, whether you're a rookie or an advanced professional trader. So we're looking at a chart of NVIDIA, NVDA, NVIDIA, and many of you know by now that it's 2024, and NVIDIA is leading the race for AI. They make chips. These chips power a lot of the AI capabilities today. You can see it here in the chart. It's had quite a run. And say, for example, remember this is all for educational content only and just for helping people understand these tools and processes. But say, for example, you missed this trade. You never got involved. 
or maybe you traded it and didn't have the outcome that you wanted. Well, what you can do, of course, is go back in time and relive that moment to understand what you might have done differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to click bar replay. We're just going to go back to a random point here because we want to trade this point. And what we're going to do is start over. Imagine you are back in 2022 thinking about trading this chart. Well, you would do everything like you would do today. Put your strategy or your analytics to the test. See if you have what it takes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start to do some research. The first thing we're going to do is going to mark this level up here. It's the all-time high at the moment. So let's double click and let's make sure we type in all-time high. We've got it over here to the right. Let's just make the font a little bit bigger so you can't miss it. We'll put in italics as well. Great. Click OK. So we've got our all-time high there. Now let's zoom out a little. And what's rather interesting and stands out is you can actually see there's a sort of consolidation zone right around here. Very interesting. You can see that from about 2020 to about 2021, it was sort of chopping sideways. That's what a consolidation is often called. It's a sideways action. It's indecision. Buyers, sellers, it's consolidating. Who's going to win, the bull or the bears? So we can see that here, which stands out. Now, there are a few things that we are missing. We should get volume on here. So let's get volume. So now we've got volume on this chart. And what you'll notice is that your drawings and your indicators update with bar replay as well. So you can do a full analysis like this to your exact specifications. Now, let's go ahead and add another indicator. And say in this example, we, per, we like Bollinger Bands. So we search Bollinger Bands, we click, and now we've got Bollinger Bands added to the chart as well. We're gonna double click the Bollinger Bands because we want to add some key details. In this example, let's say we're placing a longer term trade. So let's do 100 days. So it's a daily chart. So this Bollinger Band is going to be calculated based off of 100 days. Standard deviation two, excellent. Let's click OK. Now we've got our Bollinger Bands here calculated on 100 days. We've got our all time high here. We've added volume. We've got this consolidation. Let's go ahead and drag this consolidation across the chart because what we what we're really going to do is use this research as we would in any other instance on the chart to guide us forward. So we've got the chart laid out here. And now that we've done our analysis, the first thing we might observe is there really isn't a trade here that stands out on the daily time frame. Is there anything here that would make you buy or sell in an instance? Not so much. So just like we would on any other chart, what we're going to do is create some conditions to practice trade. Remember, this is the why it matters part of the video. This is the detailed look on how to use this tool, how a new trader or professional trader might approach it. It's all about studying your strategy or your research so that you can learn from it and develop something new for the next time it happens. So in this example, what we're going to do is set out a condition for our trading. If NVIDIA comes back into this consolidation zone, we will consider it for a buy. We'll use these buy buttons and sell buttons to track our progress. However, there's one more condition. It must also either be breaching or hitting the two standard deviation marker here for us to validate that buy order. So let's go ahead and click play. Now we're gonna sit back in our chair and watch to see what happens. The point being, we want to see, is this a good strategy or not? And we're going to click pause because that is notable. What just happened? The exact conditions that we set out for. So it dropped into our consolidation zone and it broke this Bollinger Band. So let's go ahead and let's buy five. So five shares. So we type in five and now let's click buy. So we've just bought five shares. You can see here it says buy five. It shows at 136.47. That's our entry price, bought five. The print is right here. You simply can't miss it. Now let's drag our mouse over the entry and we see our bracket order. And let's go ahead and take our take profit and bring it up to the all time high. If Nvidia hits its all time high, hey, that's a win for us. We're trying to bottom fish down here after this downward move. In fact, you might even want to consider doing something where you see this sort of trend developing, right? So you kind of have that as, a, as a, some resistance ahead. And then of course we do need a stop loss 
And let's make our stop loss, you know, something that really goes below this zone. So if it breaks, you know, we probably want to get out of there. And we'll add it uh, right there, right at the zone. So if it breaks through, we're out. So let's click play and see what happens. So we're going to click play and we're going to watch. It's very interesting. Our trade is looking good so far. It's looking good so far. Not so good anymore. We're now in the red. And we do want to actually point your direction toward this, which is the real-time calculation happening here is your profit and loss. So from our buy order here to the current price, we are down $19 on the five shares. This is our stop loss. So this is how much we'll lose if this point gets hit. This is how much we'll make if this point gets hit. So these numbers won't change, but this real-time calculation will. So let's click play. And let's sort of see what happens. And let's see... And we're just going to sit here and watch because this is how you learn. You have to be patient. And this is how you can use this tool to see how your trades would have been. And lo and behold, we were stopped out. And you can see the exact buy order, the exact sell order. The brackets are gone because the trade's been closed. We lost $107. So we just learned something valuable. And that what we learned is that this consolidation zone did not hold up nearly as well as we thought. So for future instances, you might want to now remember this, that these exact lows really might not hold up like you thought. You can see it breached. And also the Bollinger Band here, it's two, two standard deviations. Maybe we thought that was an oversold marker, but there's a saying, things that are oversold can get even more oversold. So let's reevaluate the trade. We lost money. But we want to try again and learn something new. So in this case, maybe our next trade is based off of the fact that it's broken this consolidation. And let's say if it breaks through considerably and we see some notable volume, we'll re-enter. So we click play. And let's see what happens. Wow, there was a huge green candle there. And let's see what happens. Maybe let's pick up the speed a little bit. And look at that. It actually... Now, this is how you can learn in real time, ladies and gentlemen, because what you're actually seeing here is we did not even have a chance to enter because of how quickly it happened. And what's also important, and these are the key takeaways here, is how many other people potentially had their stops at the same level we had. They all got flushed out and then it ripped up higher. We missed the trade, but that is is why this is just paper money. This is practice trading. This is how you learn, and this is how you get information for the next time. It's never fun making bad trades, but this is the way to learn and progress forward. So now what we're gonna wanna do is figure out another trade to make. So we're gonna look for a new entry, and ideally now, this is a 100-day moving average because it's our Bollinger Band based on 100 days, this orange line. And what we're going to say is that if this trade breaks above this 100-day moving average, we will look to get into it because it demonstrates a few things based off of this new information. And here's what it demonstrates. We've got the low being broken here, but actually being a fake out that even we missed. We've got an uptrend in order, meaning maybe the bulls are back and they're winning. And we've got a moving average that could eventually lead to the next trend that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click play. Let's wait for our conditions to get hit. They're hit just like that. Let's go ahead and buy five more. Let's make sure we set our stop loss. In this case, we're actually going to set our stop loss at the exact same location. And we're gonna bring our take profit to the exact same location. We're gonna click play and let's see what happens. Well, that's so far a rather uh, helpful sight here that it's and it's back at the 50 and let's even just for you know educational purposes demonstrate that we want to buy this dip and dollar cost average in let's buy five more we just bought five more once again at the 100 day moving average we click play we're going to let this rock and roll for a bit if it revisits that five day that 100 day moving average we will buy more again so we're going to sit and wait now we are in the process of accumulating or scaling in and it so far has not revisited that 100-day moving average, but that will be our basis. And it just hit it again. Let's buy five more. Let's click play. 
Now we sit back and we wait. It's back in our consolidation zone. But remember, here's our stop loss down here. We've sort of re-evaluated the trade. We're trying an entirely new strategy. And we are just going to sit and wait here. And things are starting to change. In fact, one of the best things about this exercise for a new trader or an advanced trader is you can see the trend changing now. Do you kind of feel this price action developing right here in front of us? It's really starting to turn upward. We had a bad trade at first, which you all saw, but how about the lesson we learned? We saw the washout. We saw why these levels sometimes don't always work exactly as needed. And we've got something in progress here. Maybe we'll have a profitable trade. Maybe from being down $100 on the first trade, we can switch this around and actually have a nice trade. And what we're going to do is pick up the speed here because we're getting a little anxious. Let's see what happens. We're now at 3x. This is moving. Remember, we've got our Bollinger Bands calculating in real time. The 100-day moving average is really sloping up and to the right now. Our take profit is getting closer and closer. There was a huge gap up and we just sold. Wow, how about that? Look at our profit now, plus $3,200. Remember though, this is just paper money. It's just practicing. And this is the value though of this tool and why you're going to want to learn it because you can do everything that we did here, which was walking through a bad trade, trying a different strategy and walking through a good trade and what's even better is learning from these experiences. So now we can also learn from the data we gather about our trade. We had a profitable experience of plus $3,209.25. Our best trade was up plus $3,331 and $3,316. And our win rate was 50%. But how cool is this from a study standpoint? Our win weight rate was 50%, and we still made $3,200 in profit. What does that tell you? It means if you have a strategy in place with a tight stop loss, you can have a win rate that is you know, just 50% or lower, but as long as you're controlling for your stop losses and your winners are much larger than your losses, then in that case, you can still lose more trades than you won and still be profitable. That is another great example of where this bar replay tool can be very powerful. So everything we did here was for educational purposes and wrapping up, you just got a full look at this powerful tool, including how to use it, how you can utilize it, and what you can learn from it if you do your research, if you study the chart, and if you pay attention to the data that is shared with you after the bar replay session is complete. And remember, this works for any symbol that you need to research. This could be BTC USD, this could be Euro USD, this could be Apple, anything. Use bar replay to go back in time, study the charts, practice trading, and of course, learn something new so that for your next trade, you know what to expect based off of the analysis, research, and studying that you've done. So to everyone watching this video, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and questions below.